Hi, in today's video we will learn how to set the parameters of a web session to automatically log into websites. In Sansegura web portal I have a credential that I can use to log into Facebook, but how can I add parameters to it? In the pen module, go to Settings, Access, Web Sessions. Sansegura has a list of default web sessions. You can choose to use one of those or create a new one in the upper right corner. In this example, I'll add the default Facebook session to my list. Normally, you would see a few default parameters here, but I raised mine so we could go one by one together. First, choose Facebook as your device series, and the login URL is basically the website you go to log in. In the case of Facebook, is the home page. But what are some of the parameters we can add to it? These are the elements required to fill in the username, password and action button. To understand each parameter, right-click it and go to Inspect. Another option is to simply press F2. The email field is an input and it has type, class, name and ID. All of those are important to us. We can create a new parameter using any of those elements. I will use the input name in my example. So we have three actions here, right? Email, password and login button. First, we add the wait time in milliseconds before the action is done. I'll have them at 2000 milliseconds, the same as 2 seconds. In the first row, I'll add the email input. This is a simulated field. The field is an input. Open brackets, name equal email, close brackets. And I want it to be replaced with the value username. So the platform gets my username from the database to automatically log in to the website. I can also choose the number of attempts in case of error and the interval between them. Let's do the same for the password field. It is also an input. We could use the type, but we have been using the name, so let's stick to it. This is also a simulated fill. Input, open brackets, name equals pass, close brackets. The value will be the password. And three attempts. Finally, let's inspect the login button. As expected, this is a button named Login. Buttons are simulated clicks. I'll add the name here as I did with the previous ones. There is no value linked to it, so I can save these parameters. If we covered all the steps correctly, we should be able to log in with our credential. Let's check it together. So this is the credential. As you can see, it may take a little while to load, depending on the website and your internet connection.
Wow, here it is. This banner is shown while SaintSegura authenticates your login credentials to prevent people from seeing the credentials. Done. Login successful. So that was it for today. And if you want to learn more about SaintSegura, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check the SaintSegura short playlist. Don't forget to turn on notifications and I'll see you in the next videos.